Acetaminophen toxicity or acetaminophen poisoning is what we will discuss here. And um, the most common brand name for acetaminophen is Tylenol. And in some countries around the world, this drug is known as paracetamol. And a clinical uh, scenario t typically involves uh, a patient that has come in um, most likely after a suicide attempt. Um, and most commonly, the patient um, has ingested a large number of uh, Tylenol over-the-counter uh, product, either pills or, you know, acetaminophen is found in a large number of um, over-the-counter products. It's cough medicine, cold medicine, you name it. So, very quickly before I get into symptoms, let's talk a little bit about the pathophysiology of why um, acetaminophen in large doses can cause uh, problems. Well, acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, produces a, a toxic metabolite. And that toxic metabolite is uh, what causes the um, damage. And what organ are we talking about? We're talking about the liver. So it causes hepatocellular necrosis. So liver necrosis. Now that toxic metabolite has a big long name and it's an abbreviated NAP key which is N acetyl P benzoquinone I mean or NAP key and that's what causes the that's the toxic metabolite now fortunately in our liver we have something called glutathione and this is of course an antioxidant and this is the good guy here so put a little happy face and this good guy detoxifies this bad guy so it detoxifies it. Now what happens in an overdose is that in an overdose you have a lot of this building up. So when they have a lot of that unfortunately this gets depleted. It's all used up. So when the glutathione stores in the liver uh, are all depleted this accumulates and eventually leads to liver necrosis. So that's the pathophysiology. Symptoms. Uh, Non-specific symptoms such as anorexia, not feeling like you want to eat something, nausea and vomiting, NV, and right upper quadrant uh, pain can occur in uh, uh, acetaminophen toxicity. Diagnosis is you measure the serum acetaminophen level And you also measure the liver enzymes, AST, ALT, and uh, an AST level can can be really high, greater than a thousand, when you have acetaminophen poisoning. So, what is the treatment? Well, this is the big one. This is the big part of the test uh, questions. They always talk about treatment. So, there's an antidote, fortunately, and that antidote is known as N-acetyl cysteine. And what this does is it increases the glutathione levels or stores in the liver. And if you remember just from about a minute ago, this is the good guide. This helps to uh, detoxify or inactivate, detoxify or inactivate that toxic metabolite of uh, acetaminophen, which is abbreviated NAP key. And one other part of treatment that's important is that if the acetaminophen tablets are still in the intestine, 
So if the patient comes within four hours for medical treatment to an emergency room and the acetaminophen um, is still in the GI tract, then you would in also give activated charcoal. And that charcoal um, helps with um, patients that have these tablets or, or these acetaminophen products still in their GI system, but it has to be given within four hours of ingestion of the acetaminophen. So let's look, take a look at some clinical vignettes. A 44-year-old man is brought to the emergency department after consuming a large quantity of acetaminophen in a suicide attempt. He describes taking at least 50 pills but denies other ingestions. He has a history of severe depression but is otherwise healthy. He is afebrile and stable vitals. Physical exam is unremarkable. The time of ingestion is six hours prior to his present admission. Given the history suggestive of severe overdose, which of the following is most appropriate treatment? Well, the antidote for uh, uh, acetaminophen toxicity or poisoning is N-acetylcysteine. And the last one, a 20-year-old man is brought to the emergency room three hours after ingesting approximately 15, or 50 rather, 325 milligram acetaminophen tablets in a suicide attempt. He has nausea and vomiting, but no other abnormalities on physical exam. Temperature nor, uh, is normal, blood pressure is normal, pulse is high, about 100, respiratory rate is 20. Serum acetaminophen concentration is within the range of probable toxicity, but serum transaminase, AST, ALT, and other hepatic markers are normal. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management? Well, just like the previous question, you want to give that, but because it's within four hours and he possibly has these Tylenol uh, acetaminophen tablets still in his GI tract, you want to also give activated charcoal. So the combination of those two things is given in choice D.